Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Tammy. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you know, I make videos on makeup, hair, lifestyle vlogs, chit chat talk, inspirational talks, as well as YouTube tips on how to do YouTube better on your mobile phone as well as on your PC. So if you're interested in any of this, please stick around and enjoy the video. So today's video is a special one because I am doing a collaboration with Gladys Briggs. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Gladys Briggs and um, I do a uh, lifestyle type channel. So I was originally born in Nigeria, but I'm now living in the UK. So my channel is all about uh, my life in the diaspora. And as a life coach and a teacher, I bring a good blend of every all of my life's experiences and just create a, a wide range of um, uh, content for my for my viewers. So um, if you love my personality, and if you love me, and you want to be part of my family, please go off to my channel and click on the subscribe button so that you can um, get make the most of all of this lovely content that I have to share with you. So over on Gladys's channel, you're going to learn about how to organize and customize your channel, your YouTube channel page on your laptop or your personal computer, like your desktop. And here on my channel, you're going to learn how to customize and also organize your YouTube channel page using your mobile phone, either your Android or your Apple phone, so that when visitors or subscribers visit your channel, they are pleased with what they see as opposed to running away from black screens or a messy channel page. That's what this video is going to help you with today and I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's get into it. So first you need to download the Google Chrome app. You're not doing this in the YouTube app. You're doing this from the Google Chrome app itself. You're going to go into the Google Chrome app. Once you open it, you're going to sign on to your YouTube channel page, which is mobile.youtube.whatever, you know, to get you onto the YouTube platform from the Google Chrome app. Once you open the Google Chrome page and you sign in to your channel page, it's going to take you to your channel page. You tap onto the corner, three, the three dots on the bottom in the right corner, and you tap on that and then select desktop version. Once you select desktop version, it takes you to a different page, your channel page. And you're gonna see that blue section in the corner, in the two corners of the right side of your um, your page, it says customize channel and it also shows you YouTube studio. You want to click on customize channel. When you click on customize channel, you're going to see where you have different tabs. And the first tab is a home page. That is what you see first time anyone comes to your channel. That's what they see your home page. This is what we're trying to customize and organize so that when people visit you, they're not running away from a messy channel page because there's some people that live stream and then there's some people that don't live stream or maybe they don't have a really good thumbnail. You can talk those away into some other areas where no one really see it. Or you can even upload a new thumbnail for that particular video, even though it's already uploaded. I don't know if you're aware of that, but you can do that. So what you want to do is go to the home. When you, where you see the home page, you're going to see home, video, playlist, community, channels, and about. Where you want to start with is to create a playlist. Right now, your home page is just going to show you all the videos you've uploaded. It's not organized or put together in any way. That's if you don't have any playlist. You create a playlist by going to the video section. Once you tap on the video section, you see all your videos that you've uploaded. You tap on each video. The point of playlist is to categorize and section out what you know your viewers are going to be interested in. So if you're like a, make a makeup person, you could just create a playlist for all your makeup videos, then create a playlist for your vlogs, then create a playlist for maybe your cooking videos. That way when visitors visit your YouTube channel home, they know which one, where to go to if they were interested in either your vlogs or your makeup or your skincare routine. Pretty much the playlist is there for you to categorize and section out what you know your viewers may be interested in and they can easily find it. It's for, for it to be easy enough for your viewers and subscribers to be able to watch whatever they want to watch easily without looking and searching for it. So let's say you want to create a playlist for your makeup. What you do is you select one of your makeup videos. It takes you to a separate page like you're about to watch your video. And the bar that has a plus sign in the corner, that's where you're going to add your video to a playlist. And once you tap on it, it gives you the option to either add it to an already created playlist or create a new playlist. In this case, you're going to create a new playlist if you don't have any playlist 
create it at all. Once you do that, you just pretty much label your whatever whatever you want to call your playlist, either makeup tutorials, makeup routines. You label it and then you click OK or done. Once it's done, it's already created. You can do that for different types of topic, makeup, hair, vlog, and whatever else. Once you create all those playlists, then you go back to the home page of your channel page and you click on add section add section means you're trying to arrange your channel to make it look you know presentable you add section by adding what you feel your viewers or your audience would most likely want to watch it could be makeup tutorials then maybe your vlogs and then maybe your hair tutorials mind you there's always going to be one that's called uploads meaning all your uploaded videos would usually be on the top you can actually move that away because usually if you are the type of person that have lots of live streams and the thumbnail doesn't look you know presentable you can actually move your uploads all the way to the bottom of your home page so that way it's not very easy to see or find unless someone goes scrolling down looking for it in this case we're going to move all my uploads to the bottom because i don't want my live streams all those live streams to be the first thing my visitors see when you select the add a section it opens up into content and layout and once you select content you select single playlist once you select single playlist then another section opens up and it says choose a playlist you want to select the playlist that you've already created which could be either your makeup routine or your hair routine once you select that you click done and it, it immediately it creates that section the layout can be horizontal or vertical but most people's layout is usually in horizontal because it's easier to just look through if it's vertical then it'll be too long of a page and most people don't have time scrolling down once you select that you would see on the top right corner of each section where you can move up any of the sections move it up or down and you can also delete it if you don't like it so for me i have created a sample one i can always delete it because this is for this purpose of this video so once you replace what your top video would be then you can now move your playlist sections up or down you can keep either keep your makeup vlogs or whatever up or down and within your playlist you can also move whatever video you want to be like the face of your playlist which is like the profile picture for your playlist you can pick the most attractive one you want or the most colorful one you want and you put it at the top and that will be the profile picture of that specific playlist so that's pretty much it of how you customize and organize your youtube channel page hopefully this helps someone out there if you have any questions or even if you have some extra stuff that you want to add to this please leave them in the comment section below i want to ask you a couple of questions do you have a channel trailer when visitors come to your channel what do you think they see have you checked out your channel as a visitor to see what you would see when you visit your channel Comment down below if you've given this all a try or even thought about this. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer. Or, you know, somebody else might may have an answer for you. You never know till you ask. Thank you so much again for watching. And I also want you to remember to tune in for my next upload where I'm going to show you how to create an attractive, simple thumbnail that would attract your audience. Thank you again for watching. Remember to always be thankful. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.